Salt Lake police are releasing new video from protests that occurred downtown on May 31st. That is the day peaceful protests against police brutality turned violent and destructive. Fox 13's L. Thomas joins us live from the area where it all happened. L. Yeah, hey, Kelly and Bob. I mean, looking around, it's hard to believe that this area was once filled with so much violence and destruction. Now, all of the video that you're about to see taking place right near here, 400 South, 200 East. A warning to some viewers, maybe graphic. Clashing at the police line. Civilians kicking. Yelling. Hurling items into the air. This newly released body cam compilation highlighting officers who took the brunt of a protest turned violent. People probably acted in ways that they wouldn't normally act. Now having arrested more than 20 people involved that day, officers are looking for four more. We're taking um, probably the worst of the worst uh, in, in these situations. The first, this man in tie-dye wanted for throwing a rock that broke an officer's hand. Another shown here throwing car parts at the front line. A third, the man in the white shirt, breaking through the crowd to pepper spray police. And finally, a fourth, who gave an officer a concussion with a rock. Serious bodily injury to our, our officers that put lives in danger. Police say it's hard to watch. Knowing that they're out there just trying to do a job, trying to keep people safe, trying to maintain that sense of order. Something they hope they'll never see again. Watching uh, people just hate because of the uniform that we're wearing. Really difficult. Police say they have only scratched the surface in terms of arrests. They say we should expect to receive more information on 10 to 15 individuals in the coming days and even more stemming from the looting that took place at 7-Eleven and City Creek. Live in downtown Salt Lake City, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.